yourself, it's Nick here from microiphone.com and yesterday we posted a video showing you the new jailbreak, jailbreakme.com, uh, released by Comex and basically that jailbreaks all devices on pretty much every firmware from 3.1.2 upwards. Now, because that was just released and I'm sh pretty sure Apple are going to know about that and they're going to try and patch it with a new firmware. Now, I thought uh, it is about time we posted a new video showing you how to save your SHSH blobs as the old one is a bit outdated so I thought it was time we showed you a new one so you can get your blobs saved so you can actually jailbreak in the future now what is SHSH blobs you might ask basically these are just the little files that you will save meaning that if Apple were to patch an exploit and then there was no longer a jailbreak available for that new firmware you can always have the, you always have this uh, SHSH, you always have those blobs saved. Now, because Apple update the firmware, they will no longer sign any firmwares underneath the latest one, which they used to, but not anymore. So, with saving those blobs, you can actually downgrade to those firmwares you have saved it on. So, you can save it on 3.1.2, 3.1.3, 4.0, you know, all the way up to 4.0.1. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that. So, it's really simple. I'll put a link in the description down below to this website right here where you can download Tiny Umbrella for Mac, Windows or Linux. I guess they all run the same. Um, I know Windows and Mac do, I don't know about Linux. I've never seen anyone use it on Linux. But when you when you come to this link, you go to here on the right and you basically click the link you need. So we need Tiny Umbrella OS 10. So we click that and once it's downloaded, you should install it. It will be a disk drive thing so now if we go to my finder and just go to where I saved it it should look something like that right icon the icon right there okay so we want to open it up and you should get a little window like this now make sure the device is connected by USB at this stage and guys the good thing about tiny umbrella is you do not have to be jailbroken to use this so uh, if you uh, if you don't want to jailbreak right now, but you might in the future, this is a great thing to have because if Apple do block it, you can always come back to this and jailbreak if you want to. So you don't have to be jailbroken, but you can be. It doesn't matter which way. Now, so once you have Tiny Umbrella open, let's just minimize this. We don't need this anymore. Let's bring it up here. Once you have Tiny Umbrella open, you will get a window like this and it will tell you a device right here. This is the device I have connected to my iPhone 3GS. It's running 4.0.1. It is jailbroken. But I'm going to save my SHSH files on 4.0.1. So what you need to do is very simple. You click the save my SHSH and it will run through the process. It will ask Cydia. And once it's done, it should say successfully done down here in this little log thing right here. So we just wait for it to do its thing. Um, I have done this be before so I actually have them saved already so if it fails I'll just try again because once I, I have done it before and it's failed but I tried again and it worked so just bear with it guys you save it if it doesn't work just try again okay so as you can see it didn't work for me so what we're going to do is just click it again and try again so that's the Right, and you will get if it does not work for you. Your SHSH for iPhone 3GS, or depending on which device you are doing it for, 4.0.1, then the code was not saved. So, like I said, guys, I have done it before, so I'm not sure if it will work again. I'm not sure if it will overwrite, but we'll just wait and see. Okay, so it's done. SHSH successfully saved. Click here to open. You can click here and you can open it up and find, as you can see, all my SHSH files are saved right there. So that's really useful to see that. So there you go, guys. You can successfully save and it will upload it to Cydia server. Now, if you don't see it on your Cydia homepage, it does say right here, do not bug. I guess this is a developer right here, Semaphore, about the Cydia homepage showing this version. version. If it does not show it, it's just it will be there it just might not show it so that's it guys you've saved your SHSH files now so if Apple do block an exploit 
off, you will have this firmware always ready to be jailbroken on with jailbreakme.com. If you don't know how to use jailbreakme.com, I'll put an annotation up to see that video and also a link in the description if you want to go check that video out. Um, that's about it guys, spread the word and let everyone know you need to save your SHSH files. Uh, Muscle Nerd just said it on Twitter so I thought I'd post this video. And that's about it guys, it's Nick from iGotiphone.com and uh, good luck saving your SHSH files. Thanks for watching.